Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with a layout for the design team for Confessions of a Paper Addict. And today I am playing with the stitched leaves uh, cut file that came out for the month of October. And so what I've done is I went ahead and took some white cardstock. I put that through my silhouette to cut the all the leaves out. And then once that was done, I prepped the cardstock with some clear gesso and then now I'm just spraying some water on that cardstock and then laying down a whole bunch of different colors I showed them there at the beginning of the video if you didn't catch which ones they were uh, just shoot me a note in the comments below and I will be sure to tell you which colors but I'm using a combination of Lindy's shimmers and some distress oxide and basically I'm just going for fall colors. So I just picked some oranges, some yellows, some reds, um, and just trying to get that sort of leaves changing color and sort of the fall colors that you associate with leaves changing colors. And I'm not sort of trying to be precise with the, the color that I'm putting down. I'm just kind of laying it down and then just rolling my brush through it just to get the leaves covered. And it is nowhere near perfect. I have spots that are lighter, spots that are darker, and that's exactly what I was going for. Now, I do go ahead and add a little bit of gold Heidi Swap Color Shine um, once I let it dry a little bit, just to add a little bit of gold fleck to some of the leaves. And then I did off camera go ahead and stitch those leaves that you just saw there. And I went ahead and alternated the colors of floss that I used on the leaves, which you'll see when I put them on the layout, you'll get to see that they are stitched um, in different colors of embroidery floss on the leaves. So it gives them some nice texture, which is great. Um, those become my main embellishment for this page and so it works out perfectly. Now I do have another piece of white cardstock here and then a background sort of check kind of pattern paper. These are all from my September hip kit that I am working on for the month of October. And so I just took one of the pattern papers and then the white cardstock and I'm using that for my background. And then I just have scraps that I've used on previous projects and I am just going to use the scraps both to map my photo and then to place on my background just again to add a little bit more interest. I did want to dress up that white cardstock so you did see that I pulled out some distress oxide and just a stencil that was sort of just a leaf kind of pattern and I just put a little bit of color on the background again it just gives a little bit of interest to my uh, background of the entire layout so once I have all that in place and my photo is matted I put a few other layers behind my photo with some project life cards and another scrap from my uh, papers from this kit and so once I have that in place I'm just going to play around with where I want to put all of these leaves so there you can see the stitching is showing up really nicely with all the different colors of embroidery floss that I used and so ultimately what I decide is to have a large cluster up there at the top left another smaller cluster at the top of the sort of journaling card there to the right and then at the bottom of the photo um, on the right side I'm going to have a third cluster so once I have those in place I am pretty much set that those are going to be my embellishment sort of locations or spots on this layout and now I'm just playing with all the other sort of tickets and little bits and pieces that I've pulled from my kit um, that I want to use for some additional embellishment a little bit additional interest on this page so that's what I'm doing here I'm just layering up the tickets again all of this just sort of lends itself to just add a bit more interest and texture to the page so I kept it really simple though it's really just some labels and tags and things like that all layered up on those leaves once I have that down I am going to go and sort of work on my title now I do add a few other words I have that the best day down at the bottom that was cut from a piece of pattern paper I have so good on top of the place where I will probably do some journaling down the road the October 
uh, acrylic piece that you see there that is going to go right above the best day I will glue that down in a little bit but I am going to go ahead here and work on my actual title for this layout and I don't typically do this not at this point I would normally have done this earlier I don't typically try to stamp on my layouts when I pretty much have everything already in place because it's a bit nerve-wracking to stamp right on your layout and you really want to hope that it does not uh, your your stamp block does not move or anything like that because I would hate to have started this again but luckily it worked out and I was had that sort of striped piece of pattern paper which made it easy to follow a straight line to put my stamping down so luckily it worked out and part of my title is going to be that word magic and then I have the best and then when with, with these stickers in gold I'm going to spell out the word fall so the title for this one is the best fall magic and the photos that I'm I'm using today are actually documenting some of the Halloween or sort of fall decorations that are at the Magic Kingdom and so I thought that that kind of worked kind of pretty well with the title for this one and for the word magic I did go ahead and stamp that in black and then I'm going to take two Catherine Pooler inks here and my water brush and I'm actually going to color in the word magic and so I do like this effect and the ink through with the water brush makes a nice sort of like watercolory look on that title so I do really like how that turned out I was able to sort of do a variated color to my title which made it kind of fun just another little added element now to finish up the page I am just going to dot around some of those puffy hearts and then some of these enamel dots that were also in my kit and once those though go down that is going to do it the still photos are coming up as well as all the links to the Facebook group and the Confessions of a Paper Attic store are all listed down below. Be sure to go check out the October cut files and all the other great cut files in the shop, as well as the Facebook group pick up the free cut file for this month. And with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.